Agora TV. The world is thinking. But the very last chapter of my book is about epigenetics, and that's a new science that some of you may have read, at, read about. And uh, epigenetics is about uh, is another way of looking at about at how genes are expressed, and and at this kind of crazy idea, which has now been proven to be absolutely true, at least in, in some cases, and seems to be more and more widespread the more scientists look at it, in that um, although we don't, uh, the, the genes that, we, that parents pass to their children are exactly the same. They, they stay intact. Um, there's a wrapping that goes around those genes that also passes from parent to children and that greatly influences gene expression. And that actually does change and can be altered by the environment, which is to say, crazily as it's crazy as it sounds, that um, things that we do in our life, which can impact the epigenome before we have kids, then we'll get passed on to our kids and will subsequently affect their own gene expression. So decisions that we make, decisions that I make, or I should say that I made before I had kids, affected not the genes, but the epigenome around uh, the genes that I passed on and, and will have an effect and, and are having an effect on my own kids' lives, which I can't, I wouldn't expect anyone to just accept uh, at face value. It's, it sounds crazy. It is crazy. It brings up the whole notion of Lamarck, who um, even bef long before Darwin suggested that, that, um, that behaviors and experience actually change our genes. And actually that turns out to be really close to true in some ways.